Yeah, if you um, bring in the story though, please, because I'm going to get Phoebe to do the, um, do the bulletins. Yeah, it's just I needed the person doing them to be here on time. Yeah, but just because we've got to write them for before. Yeah, but get here when you get here because you could do the afternoon ones. Yeah? Because they always do that morning and afternoon. Text me though, yeah? Cool. Speak to you in a bit. Bye. William? Um, they built a block of flats for homeless people in three days. Most of course, in Norwich. Right. I could uh, contact like a uh, homeless charity in Norwich, essentially. Uh, I could go there, but I don't think there's much point if it's ready. No, no, there's always point. Because yeah. sounds are really like useful. Yeah, I guess some sounds, but yeah. sounds are like. Uh, mm -hmm. So it'd be good to get some interviews um, with maybe Cab or the residents? Yeah, there might be some. Yeah, I could ask residents or. I don't know, I reckon there's a problem. And some homeless charities. There's been some stuff actually released by Norfolk County Council this yesterday about um, what they're doing to um, tackle homelessness. So I'll send you the link to that and you can click that into your story as well. Yeah, but I definitely would say get an interview because, as well, guys, we need to put something on the website. We're going to have a longer version on the website after the news day. So, how would that sound and how would that look then, William? Uh, I'll probably. I, don't know, I probably will get like sounds of like the machinery. I'll get an interview, and then I'll just like do a little piece as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, commercial radio is a lot more important than um, yeah. voice pieces. Yeah. Cool. I'll send you that uh, press release anyway. Have a look at that. Phoebe. Uh, so there's a lot on like social media and the news, especially today on food waste. I thought it would be interesting to do something on that. I've actually got an interview with a chef from the Wagamama in Norwich, and they talk about like the amount of waste they go through each day. Um, so I thought that might be good to add in. Um, also, it might be worth linking to a few figures, some stats, you know, how it's a bit more sort of poignant if you say this many tons a year. You know, wasted, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, there's a website called Too Good to Go. There's like yes. that app, which you can just that'll be good to like get in touch with people through mm -hmm. that. Yeah, because this chef, she was like, I don't know why we don't use this yeah. app because they literally waste buckets full each day. Honestly, you throw away such good things mm -hmm. because there's nothing there. So no, yeah. and like it could be going to like home and to travel. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, hundred percent. But the problem is, is the delivery of it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Cool, and also there was, I think, 7 million litres of milk struck away in Norfolk alone every mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. Uh, Jack? Obviously we're going to need a sports rundown. There was a whole, uh, there was a whole, uh, what do you call it, block of Premier League fixtures last night. Uh, so that needs to be covered. It's a news day. Yeah. Uh, that one, if you are going to do sports rundown, that would need to probably be in the early bulletin because it would be a dead story by... Twelve o'clock. Yeah, I would really disagree. With the sport, but yes, we, we can get that. Well, we can get. I can get one in the early, and then there are some <laughs> Premier League fixtures to look forward to tonight. So I can get clips from uh, the build-up for the next one. Uh, there is also another story I have seen on the BBC this morning. A minister has told people not to kiss strangers under the mistletoe this Christmas because of COVID. Yeah. I think that's very commercial. I don't know yeah. how we go about doing it. I think that would have to be a box pop. Are you going to kiss someone under the mistletoe that yeah. you don't know? That type of thing. If you can't, then my best advice would just be voice noting some people on WhatsApp and get them in and do that. Good just try and yeah, get yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, but, I'll, yeah. I'll probably get four or five different people on that. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. audio obviously is the, the greatest thing and hearing muffins is not very nice on no, no. radio, so try and not use that. Yeah. Paris. So I'm hoping you don't reject this again. <laughs> Because I was thinking, if we want the more light-hearted entertainment, well, it's not really a light-hearted entertainment story because it's about him getting a lot of hate on social media, is no matter what is posted online by them, Dan Walker is still the main target for internet hate at the moment. Yeah. Is there a Norfolk or Norwich influencer that you could contact and maybe ask them on hate? Mm -hmm. Or is there an Norwich dancer that gets a lot of hate? what they do is a, a link there just to keep it localised because that's yeah that's I could thing. reach out to the Norwich Dance School yeah as well I've got a contact at Norwich Latin Dance I know the owner mm -hmm. 
who'd be more than happy. Do they, yeah, have they ever been subjected to online abuse? Or and all of that, and I could ask her about it, she'd be happy to do it, because she loves being on the radio. Actually, in case that doesn't work, if you could think of like something else as well that you could do. Yeah, um, no, just in case. Keep an eye on what else is going on. Yeah. yeah. What about cyber bullying charity? If yeah. worst comes to worst. If, well, yeah, worst comes to worst, cyber bullying charity as well. Link that with that. Okay. It's, it's Christmas. Um, Christmas bookings cancelled. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be to go around <coughs> to uh, venues in Norwich and ask them if they've had an impact since the restrictions have come back in. Have they seen a dip in cancellation in people booking? <coughs> and also, have they seen a rise in cancellations? Um, would you be happy to have interviews with like? Uh, I mean, we went to the Maid's Head last year. They're quite nice to speak to. Uh, there's other venues as well. Even restaurants. I'd probably ring them. Yeah. Rather than go out. Cool. You'd need to ring them and then you'd have to go there to do the interview though, unfortunately. Because uh, just for sound quality it's better if you do go yeah. in person. Mm. If you could think about um, something else and then we'll talk about it. I'll give you till mm. 10 okay. to, to think of something else. Uh, Karis. Um, I saw this thing on the EP this morning about it might be like snowing. Like there's a weather warning in Norfolk, so I could like ask people what they think. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. How, how prepared? Could you even spin that? Like how prepared are the council for adverse weather? You could yeah. Get someone at the council. Okay. If anybody has any questions, uh, just ask me. Our first bulletin is going to happen at eleven. Um, so eleven and twelve is two minutes long. One pm will be three minute headlines, and then two three will be two minute headlines again, and four will be five minutes. But I'll send you an email with all of that on. Thank you. Thank you. Really good. Well, hosted meetings. Thanks for watching.